welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Today is a big day. Today, I'm gonna be straightening my hair. <laughs> I have always told my management team I would never work with a brand on straightening my hair unless it was with Dyson. And today, today's video is sponsored by Dyson. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. <laughs> Many of you know that I recently got a Dyson. I had it on my registry and when I tell you the innovation, the science behind that vacuum, I will never not buy a Dyson vacuum ever again, period. And I have to say their hair tools are the same way. So we're gonna go ahead and put them to the test today. Let's do it. Now before jumping into the Dyson Corel straightener and showing you how it works, I did just wanna briefly mention the blow dryer. This is the Dyson Supersonic, y'all. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never used a bad blow dryer. They've all dried my hair successfully, but when I tell you that this is a whole other level, I mean it's a whole other level. To be completely and totally honest, I didn't want to like this product because <laughs> it is on the pricier end, but when I say that it's a game changer, I mean it's a game changer. Let me know if you guys want me to make an entire video dedicated to diffusers. I thought maybe I could show how like the Dyson supersonic dryer diffuser compares to other diffusers, but I have to say I have never in my life been this impressed with a blow dryer. So all of the attachments are magnetic and just pop on. Um, I really like this one in particular uh, because if you are trying to straighten your hair as you blow dry it, this one is a dream. It's a dream come true. Like it really, really is. And then of course it has other detachments to get really super sleek hair as well. I genuinely just cannot rave enough about it. The cold setting is unreal. It is freezing and I love it. Uh, the heat setting, the fan setting, it's so lightweight. It's just the filter. Anywho, another day, another time, we could dive into the dryers, but I have to say that I have been nothing less than overly impressed with all of their products. So next, the straightener. The very first thing I wanna to mention to you before diving in with our straightener is kind of the, the backlash almost that the curly hair community can kind of give from you straightening or curling or blow drying your hair straight from time to time. I am here to tell you that it is okay from time to time if you want to straighten or curl your hair. Sometimes I just get an itch just because I want to change my hair. I get so tired of looking the same day after day after day and it can just be fun to switch it up. Now of course we all know that when applying heat to our hair or straightening our hair, of course it's going to create damage damage in your hair, but with the Dyson Corral straightener, you will be getting 50% less heat damage so that you can feel guilt-free about straightening your hair from time to time if you wanna switch up. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start by simply parting my hair and then I'm gonna show you how this baby works. So you're simply gonna want to open this tab to open the straightener. The first thing that I noticed was that there isn't a large space between the straightener. I feel like I'm used to my straighteners being really wide open, but honestly, I feel like this is a little bit easier on your hands and no one's hair is this thick, so it just makes sense. <laughs> so all you simply wanna do to turn on the Dyson Corral is hold down the power button and an LED screen display will come up with your battery. Mine is 100% charged and ready to go. And this bad boy has a safety feature that I could not love more. It allows you to travel with this product. You can throw it in your bag, throw it in your carry-on before hopping on the plane, um, and, and be worry-free of it turning on accidentally. So all you do to travel with this is pop out the flying safety measure, and then to turn it on, simply pop it back in and you are good to go. Now the Dyson Corral has three different heat settings, 330, 365, and 410. I don't know about you guys, but when I used to straighten my hair in middle school, I think literally straightened my hair at 450 degrees every day. <laughs> Every single day, that's the best part because I don't even know if dry shampoo existed. What, what? A big way that I find myself reducing heat damage with this product in particular is simply that I don't need as high of a heat setting as I do with other tools. With this one, I put it on the lowest setting, 330 degrees, and it gets the job done. Let's go ahead and put this puppy to the test. I'm gonna go ahead and section off about this much hair 
and I'm gonna just go ahead and brush it out. I already applied a heat protectant to my hair to be extra safe, and let's do this. That is one past magic. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so <laughs> I haven't seen my hair straight in a minute. So the three biggest ways in which the Dyson Corel really allows you to reduce heat is one, simply using a much lower temperature than you typically would. Number two, these plates are flexible plates. So they essentially hug the hair as it moves and allow you to just have a lot more control. And you really wanna keep the hair in the center as much as possible. I find that that really allows me to have the most control over this product. And the third biggest way that you are using less heat damage is that this is a one pass wonder, honestly. So, is you just wanna go slow. I find if I like fly through the hair, then I would need to do two passes, but if you just go nice and slow, you'll get a really, really sleek and straight result. Wow. Sorry, I got distracted. I love that this is cordless. I love that, I think it's genius. Um, and what I like to do, so I just did that straight pass, perfect, boom. I set it right back down on the charging cord, pull out my next piece of hair, brush it out, and then move on to the next piece. So Dyson says that it will give you a 30 minute complete cordless charge. But in my opinion, if you set it down in the dock, it will lengthen the period to like 45 minutes to an hour. Not that you should take an hour to straighten your hair. Honestly, like you really don't need an hour because especially with this product, you're just doing one pass through. So it's, it's honestly quite fast. Now I got on a call with the Dyson team prior to agreeing to this sponsorship and talking about the product, how I wanted to test it out, all that jazz. And they had their product expert on the call. He was so cool. He was like, you know, blow drying your hair as straight as possible and then straightening it will really give you absolutely incredible results, which I understand and agree. But I have really found that with the Dyson Corral, you can get fantastic results without also blow drying your hair perfectly straight. You can just go from from like wavy, frizzy hair to shiny straight hair in seconds. And I thought that that was just way cooler to show. <laughs> All right, I have got this side of my hair straightened completely and I love it. It looks so shiny, so healthy. Like the shine in this, for blonde hair, I mean, I'm so proud that my hair is so healthy. So now what I wanna show you is how versatile this tool is with the flexible plates, how you can create a beautiful curl that literally looks like you professionally curled your hair. These are the finished results. I've got my little baby here. He has been squeaking and squawking and ready to play this whole time. So we had to take a couple breaks, but we made it through. It was honestly very, very fast. I would say that this took me 20 minutes to do the, sh 10 minutes to do the straight and about 10 minutes to do the curly, honestly. I think this side I'm Veronica, this side I'm Jessica, and I'm loving it, it's so fun. Let me know in the comments down below which side you prefer. I kind of prefer the straight side just because it's so completely different, and if I'm gonna take the time and the energy, I kind of want to feel like Veronica, a completely different person. <laughs> This side is so soft and pretty and feminine and has like a little bit more volume and bounce to it. So it definitely makes me feel more like myself, um, but just Jessica. <laughs> Overall, if you are going to strain or curl your hair, in my personal opinion, I think it is wise and smart to invest in a product that's going to cause the least amount of damage, especially as a wavy or curly girl, if you really want to maintain healthy and happy hair. I wish that I didn't love this product as much as I did because it is on the pricier end and I am as cheap as they come, but some things in life are worth it and um, investing in your hair, <laughs> It's pretty important, you know? Gonna wear it for the rest of your life, so. I'm curious to hear you guys' opinion on the topic of curling and straightening your hair. 
Uh, I feel like it's a very taboo topic in the wavy, curly, natural hair community in general. Uh, something that can have a lot of shame around it. Sometimes people just want to switch up their look and do it in the least damaging way possible and I think that that's okay. I would love to hear how often you personally curl or straighten your hair and if you feel guilty about doing it or anything like that. I'd just love to hear a little bit more about your experience. I had so much fun putting the Dyson Corral to the test today. Once again, biggest of thank yous to Dyson for sponsoring today's video. I am just such a geek, geeky fan over the brand. I really, really love and stand behind the science of their brand. It works, it makes sense, and, uh, and I, I love it. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed today's video and getting to know Veronica and Jessica a little bit better. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.